the housing crisis, the weather, the people. Which of these are really a pro or a con? Hiya, what's the crack? Nope, can't get it right. On my last video, I found out that there is a bunch of people saying that you shouldn't move to Ireland. So I asked myself why? I moved in like a year ago, what's the problem? So I started listing the pros and cons of living in Ireland and... <laughs> but I uh, let you decide what you think about this. Don't forget to put your opinion down in the comments. The weather. No, I'm just joking, it's not like that, usually. So when I was moving here, a lot of people that know me told me that I am gonna die here because I was prone to absolutely not leave the house if it rains and I was living for the sun. When I was a kid, I was reading a lot on how to do a sun dance to summon the sun. Yeah, it's pretty much moody almost all of the time. If you're one of those people that look at weather apps if it's gonna rain, you got a better chance of winning on the Irish lottery than for that thing to be right. You basically never know, will you get out of the house with an umbrella or without one. In one hour, it starts and stops raining for about four times. But in my experience, it doesn't always rain rain. Small little raindrops that look like a mist and you don't feel it, you just end up wet after a couple of minutes outside. Even though I should mention that I live in Cork, of course the weather is not exactly the same in every part of Ireland. There are places with, where there is more sun, less sun, more rain, less rain, it all depends. But I actually got used to it really quickly. It's pretty fine, it's not that scary, it's not that bad. It helps build character. Just be sure to pack on vitamin D because vitamin D deficiency is real and all darker and or rainy countries have a strong recommendation for vitamin D. The weather is a con. People! Irish people are something that I really wasn't used to. Where I come from, people are telling me that I'm weird and too nice. I say thank you for every little thing that someone does for me. Irish people are just generally nice, extremely polite, friendly and generous people. The Irish are gonna help you with whatever you need, always say sorry, excuse me, pardon, hi, how are you, what's up, even if you're on the street with a complete stranger. Just the other day, I was carrying some stuff and just for a second I didn't look in front of me. And I bumped into a woman. She said sorry a hundred times, which made me feel even worse. And then helped me pick up everything and asked me if I need any more help. Where I come from, I would be sent to Jesus because of that. This is something that surpasses a lot of cons and is a big pro because the environment you're in makes a big difference. But for those of you who like to pick a fight, if you're rude, disrespectful or provocative, just keep in mind that the Irish are a small but a really proud nation. They're no strangers to a fight and they really know how to protect their pride. So don't come here and provoke the Irish because you really don't have a reason to. But if you ignore this, well, be Prepare to walk it off because the healthcare can be pricey. Yeah, wouldn't call this really much of a con if you just know how to behave. So here's a neutral zone. The nature and scenery in Ireland. Probably because of the weather, but it's astonishing. When I was moving to Ireland, this one person told me, you know, the grass is always greener on the other side. Then I moved over here and realized that the grass is actually greener. There are a lot of beautiful places all around the world, but there are a few things that you won't see anywhere else. If you're an outgoing type and love to go on adventures, at least visit Ireland. Trust me, the fulfillment you get, all those things you see on the internet to see in real life, just provides some kind of a peace of mind. This makes it a big pro. So wherever you are in Ireland, just be sure to visit places and explore. This is one of those countries that actually deserves a scenery medal. The moment you all been waiting for. Cash. Everybody likes money. So 
Celery. So in one of the comments in my previous video, uh, somebody said that I have the wrong data. That not everyone's working on a shop floor of a store, in a cafe or at a deli. First of all, a raise is always a possibility and you can always ask for more work if you're qualified for it. Some of these will be your first jobs you take here and once you get to know a bit about Ireland, accustomed to the language, if you already aren't, or just get familiar with your environment. Depending on your qualifications, you can get a higher paying job in no time. But just so you know, people in sales do really well, electricians are pulling over a nice salary, plumbers just a little bit less than that, delivery drivers, builders, those are all jobs with no special qualification for it. You don't need a college for that. But there's always a kind of a training or a course. Trust me, it's worthwhile. You don't have to have a diploma or some kind of a high college degree to earn an average salary in Ireland. But if you do, research about how to put that to work in Ireland. For example, I know that there is a critical skills employment permit to have it easier here in Ireland. If you have it, it's definitely useful and makes things easier. Without a doubt, this is a pro. And if it turns out that Ireland is not a country for you, leave a like if you liked the video, if you didn't, leave a dislike. It just might bring it to other people that might find it a life changer one way or the other. After the money talk, we are gonna talk about how to spend that paper. The rents are very high, that's really true. The food depends on where do you do your shopping and use your loyalty cards. They are valuable and can save you a lot of money. Tobacco prices are high, alcohol is expensive, probably why this country is doing so good. But yeah, Ireland is expensive when it comes to rent, utilities and luxury like tobacco and alcohol. Everything else can pretty much vary. I strongly recommend you get a health insurance because healthcare can be really expensive if you don't have one. I do want to say that this strongly depends on your needs. If any of these affect you, you should do more research about those. Now a lot of people are gonna fight me on this, but I am 100% sure that with proper research and budgeting, Ireland is not so expensive after all. I would say that a lot of countries are doing a lot worse. Although, by my personal experience, I would just recommend sticking to your budget when you're shopping because it's very easy to get lost. But overall, you make your budgeting, of course, around your rent and bills. If you're lucky enough to find a cheaper rent, you have a gold mine. You knew this one was a con from the start, didn't you? We were talking about salaries earlier, so I would like to mention job opportunities in Ireland. I must say that there is a lot of job opportunities out here. And of course, like I mentioned in my previous video, if your English is good, you're gonna have no trouble at all. For some of them, you are provided training, for some of them you can complete a course and start working. Of course, some jobs require experience while other places are looking for trainees. And I think anyone who knows English at least a bit and isn't too picky about their job, is gonna do just fine over here. In my experience, employers tend to help you out as much as they can. Thank you for your job well done, reward you and help you any way they can as long as you're not overusing it. As I've heard and seen on most jobs, you can make progress and get a raise. A lot of big companies are operating in Ireland and you can easily get a job in any one of them if you're qualified and climb up the ladder if that's your goal. This particular situation where I send out more than 20 applications for a job and I don't even get a reply on it, any of them, this was one of the reasons why I moved over here. I think this is a pro for everyone no matter in which industry you are. Ireland's housing. One of the biggest cons of Ireland. I'm not, gonna e I'm not even gonna pretend that this isn't a con at the moment. One of the biggest cons of Ireland is the housing situation, the housing crisis. Now, I'm not gonna lie when I say that the situation with accommodation in Ireland is ridiculous. It can be really hard and stressful to find an accommodation. Either they're out of your budget or they are taken. But to be honest, in my own opinion, I would like to point out that 
sometimes it just feels like luck. When you're looking for a house or an apartment, my personal tip is to be relentless, restless and just keep at it until you find an accommodation. Don't be like, I'ma send this one and hope for the best. No, no, you put on a motivational video, you say, today is the day I find my new home and you bite every single way you can to find an accommodation, even if it's a temporary one, until you find something more permanent. Personally, I was looking for an accommodation for some time and I was starting to get anxious, will I ever find an accommodation here? But I literally just scrapped the demotivation and threw it out the window and did my best to find an apartment and here we are. So the situation is pretty bad and you have to take on the bad situation and fight it equally strong as it's bad. And of course there are some people are here in Ireland for four or five months and don't even recognize the problem. They don't even know that there's a housing situation happening because they found something and it worked out for them at the very start. But there are those that actually returned to their home country or ended up homeless. I'm not gonna lie, it's really a fight. And as much as I know, the authorities are familiar with the problem and they're tackling it but it just may be some time until they fix the situation. The pub culture. I'll be honest with you, there are a lot of things to do here, but the number one destination for the Irish and expats like us are pubs. In a pub, there is a big chance that you will end up with the Irish folks and they can be a hell of a fun. You will have the night of your life. People are open and chatty. Now, I know that not all of you are like that, of course but every single bit of information, as well as making friends, is really important over here. It'll help you a lot. Or they might get to your table because they have to tell you that you look like Michael Jackson or the most recent one, Kylo Ren. But hey, it's a conversation starter, so... I know that it's hard to move to another country and there were a lot of new things that I have to find out on my own so let me spare you the trouble and be your first friend in Ireland so you don't have to go through all of that alone too. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you decided, pros or cons.